are U.S. women taking over the 400 meters from the Caribbean women? The women's 400 meters has been a Caribbean-dominated event since 2004. Recently, the American women are looking to change that narrative with the likes of Britton Wilson, Sidney McLaughlin Leverney, Aething Moo, etc. Could the American women really stop the Caribbean women in the 400 meter? What do you think? The 400 meters became the premier track and field event for the Caribbean at the 1948 London Olympics when Jamaica's Arthur Wind won gold and his teammates Herb McKenley took silver. That performance set the foundation for the Caribbean's dominance in the event. At the 1983 Helsinki World Championships, Bertland Bert Cameron of Jamaica became the first Caribbean man in World Championship history to win the event. Over the years, Caribbean men such as Alan Francique of Grenada, Christopher Brown of the Bahamas, and Jamaica's Gregory Horton have all contributed to the advancement of the Caribbean men in the 400 meters. Even though the Caribbean men were extremely consistent, the women were not as consistent. It was in 1988 when Jamaica's Grace Jackson created history by becoming the first Caribbean woman to run sub-50 in the 400 meters. Jackson did so in Nice, France, with a Jamaica national record time of 49.57 seconds, a national record that stood until Lorraine Fenton ran 49.30 seconds to break it in 2002. Even though Grace Jackson became the first Caribbean woman to run sub-50 in the 400 meters, she did not contest the event at a major championship. Her only major championship medal is a silver medal in the 200 meters at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Since that time, Sandy Richards of Jamaica became consistent in the 400 meters in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. At the Olympics, Sandy Richards placed 7th with 50.19 seconds, and the next year at the Stuttgart World Championships, she became the first Caribbean woman to earn a World Championship medal when she took bronze. After this performance at the World Championships by Sandy Richards, more Caribbean women such as Bahamas' Pauline Davis, Tonique Williams, and Shawnee miller Weibo have won World Championship medals in the event, along with the likes of Jamaica's Lorraine Fenton, Noveline Williams-Mills, Stephanie Ann McPherson, Sharika Williams, and Sharika Jackson, who also won World Championship 400m medals. Within such a short space of time, the women's 400m has become a Caribbean event. At the 2022 Eugene World Championship, Shawnee miller Weibo was able to lead home a Caribbean clean sweep when she took gold, Marilady Paulino of the Dominican Republic took silver, and Shade Williams of Barbados earned bronze. This was the moment when the world recognized that the women's 400 meters was now a Caribbean event. Although the Caribbean fans were happy for the region dominating the event, the Americans were not so happy because it was the first time since the 2003 Paris World Championships that an American woman did not make the 400 meters final. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our future videos. Thank you. After Shawnee miller Weibo won the World Indoor, World Outdoor, and NACAC Games titles in the 400 meters, she decided to achieve a personal goal of hers, which was motherhood. Early in the 2023 season, miller Weibo announced her pregnancy, stating that she would have missed the 2023 season. She gave birth in April, just a few days after her 29th birthday. With Shawnee miller Weibo being out for the 2023 season, Caribbean fans were somewhat panicking that the American women would take over the 400 meters. After running an astonishing world record of 50.68 seconds over the 400 meters hurdles at the 2022 Eugene World Championships, Sydney McLaughlin Leverone has become a potential threat to the 400 meters women. Fans have been eager to see her compete over the 400 meters with the likes of Marilady Paulino, Fiorda Lisa Cofill, Candice McLeod, among others. But that opportunity has presented itself this season at the Los Angeles Grand Prix, but Sydney McLaughlin Leverone pulled out due to injury. While McLaughlin Leverone has been pulling out of races, her teammate Britton Wilson, who represents the University of Arkansas, has been competing consistently in both the 400 meters and the 400 meters hurdles. The world began paying attention to Britton Wilson this season when she ran an American record, collegiate record, and the second fastest indoor 400 meters of all time with 49.48 seconds to win the NCAA Indoor Championships in March. 
This performance came just weeks after Femke Bol of the Netherlands ran the world record of 49.26 seconds. Britain Wilson has been on a trajectory of running fast times as she ran a collegiate record and world-leading time of 49.13 seconds to win the 400 meters at the Southeastern Conference Championships. Wilson in six, Diggs in seven. And Diggs is out hard and fast. As are Tierra Robinson-Jones and Rosie Effion on the outside. But just keep your eyes on Britton Wilson. There she is, fourth from the left. She just runs so effortlessly. We'll see if we'll see if that big run yesterday took anything out of her. Well, she is well in the lead now, and if she's feeling that rhythm again, no telling what might happen. The wind has been negligible, so she shouldn't have too much of a headwind coming into this finishing straight. She's way out in front of a field of very good 400 meter runners. The battle is for second. Right now it's Diggs. But Jermisha Arnold of AM is coming up, as is Tierra Robinson Jones. It is Wilson who sets another collegiate record. 49 14 unofficially. Let's see if it corrects. Yes, 13. 49 13. She alters the collegiate record. With this performance, it can be said that the American women are a threat to the Caribbean women in the 400 meters. It is often said that the American women who could potentially dominate the 400 meters are not doing the event. The likes of Olympic 800 meters champion Aething Mu, 2019 400 meters hurdles world champion Delilah Muhammad, and 2015 400 meters hurdles world championship silver medalist Shamir Little are just a few of the American women who are in a position to dominate the 400 meters. It was recently announced that Sydney McLaughlin Leverani would be doing the 400 meters at the US Championships in order. The question is, would McLaughlin Leverney's speed from the 400 meters hurdles transfer to the 400 meters? Could she break Sanya Richards' American record of 48.70 seconds done in 2006? With more American women wanting to do the 400 meters, there could be a potential rivalry in the event between the US and the Caribbean. Fans can only wait and see how our Caribbean women will face the American women. Will the US women take over the 400 meters from the Caribbean women? Or will the Caribbean women apply pressure when they face the American women? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as we celebrate the achievements of all our Caribbean athletes together. This is Jiri Caribbean Sports.